At the corner of Inn and First Streets Northwest stands tall a sign. It's a huge honor. It's huge. A simple reminder to always remember one of the greatest athletes to ever live in D.C. I explain to people all the time that you have to remember how many Hall of Fame football players were born in D.C. Willie Wood was a legend, according to the NFL. The defensive star won the first two Super Bowls ever played with the Green Bay Packers. The native Washingtonian even appeared in eight Pro Bowls. But to Willie Wood Jr., number 24 was something much more. He was always dad. It wasn't until about college age um, when I started to really recognize the significance of uh, being named after and who I was named after. Willie Wood Jr. called his dad a trailblazer. The first black quarterback at SC, first black head coach in modern American football, and then the first black head coach in the CFL. Just to be the first one to do it is, is scary. And he did it multiple times in his life. And those are the things that me and my family are proud of. But according to his son, Willie Wood never forgot where he came from. He absolutely loved this city. Nor did DC. When he went in the Hall of Fame, the city went crazy. Joe Bell played football with Willie Wood at DC's old Armstrong High School. He was dynamite. I mean, Willie could tackle. He remembered his friend as a caring person. Uh, he did a lot of things for me in my life. It was like a brother to me, you know. But the hardest thing was accepting seeing him like he was in the later years. We last talked to Willie Wood Sr. in 2015. Many of his memories at that point too hard for him to remember. You were a great football player. I think so. <laughs> Willie Wood Jr. said doctors suspected years of hard hits had left Wood Sr. with a degenerative brain disease, CTE. It took away that light that Willie Wood had. Despite all that, Wood's son says he's confident his father lived with no regrets. He says he believes Willie Wood accomplished too much for that. Get to my age and you look back over your life, you know, can you say that you've done the things that he did and met the people that he's met? You know, he had a complete full life. Willie Wood passed away at the age of 83 to natural causes. His son says a service will be held Wednesday at Bible Way Church in Northwest D.C. to celebrate his life. He says the public is invited to attend.